Whatever happened to Frankie of the Knockouts? We asked her lead singer, Frankie Previtt. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Frankie Previtt co-wrote two of the big songs from Dirty Dancing, I've Had the Time of My Life, which of course was made famous from Bill Medley and Jennifer Warren's in Hungry Eyes, which was recorded by Eric Carmen. But before that, he was the lead singer and the leader of a band that a lot of us remember, Frankie and the Knockouts, which had a number 10 hit with Sweetheart. When when that came out, was, uh, was that financially beneficial for you? Because I mean, in Canada, people go gold and they ride the bus, especially in the 80s. Were you ever able to reward yourself with, via that song? Because I know you were all over... I remember seeing you all over TV, all the, the, the singing shows you were on, Solid Gold, American Bandstand. Not financially rewarding, no. Um, you know, your first record, uh, you, you're, uh, you're making a deal with the record label to make, uh, I think it was 10 cents or 12 cents on a dollar after you've paid back the cost of doing the record. And uh, even now today, they've added in promotion and a bunch of other things that an artist has to pay them back before they can start making their dime. So by the time you pay them back, you know, it's survival money, the, mo the money you make. And so what I did was I, uh, in Frankie and the Knockouts, I shared my points with the band. So I gave everybody in the band, I made them a band member and, and a point, they would receive points that uh, we would share all together in merchandising if we sold any i would share it with everybody because you know i was making a little bit of the writer's royalties where these guys were the musicians behind the scene but i thought that you know they deserved to you know have some type of windfall so i made it more like a company of here you know you're putting your time in and you should get rewarded for it so uh, I took a different approach than most guys do. You took a very different approach to, to a lot of guys. A very different. And I like on American Bandstand with Dick Clark, you know, everyone in the band was being introduced. And, and I always think that's a classy move to do that, you know? Absolutely. You know, it's, it becomes, you know, I have this um, sports mentality because I, I played football. I played baseball. And, and so it was always about the team first. And so with that mentality... You know about coming growing up in an italian family instilled that in, in me as well as family first so i we we made ourselves like a little team that would go out and put our hands together before we would go on stage and do like a little you know pet talk and then we go out and you know rock and roll i like the video clip where the band's backstage and you're you're doing what the eagles is are famous for doing when you're all vocalizing together before before the video starts of the song, right? We did that every gig. Is that right? Yeah, that was us every gig. Warming up, going through harmonies, you know, being able to, me as a as the lead singer, I'd warm up on my own, but then I would bring them together as a group and we'd warm up doing harmony. What happened to uh, the guys in front? I know, I know about your famous drummer. What happened to the other guys? Lee Fox, the bass player, has been probably for the past 20 years playing with Blondie, Deborah Harry in Blondie. And so Lee does that. Bobby Massano, who is our other guitar player in the band, has his own solo career and he just put out a, a, a solo record. And he went on and played with like Stevie Winwood and a bunch of people and now he's doing a solo career. Tommy Ayers, the keyboard player, I think he's up in Poughkeepsie still playing. Claude Lehenoff, who was our original drummer, is still out there playing up in Poughkeepsie. You know about Tico Torres, who plays with Bon Jovi. Bass, guitar, a keyboard, Bob Blake Levinson was the other keyboard player. I, I don't know. He must be playing. He was too good of a player to stop playing. He's a good songwriter. Last I heard, he was down in Florida, so he must be gigging down there someplace. And, and I hear, it might just be a rumor, but I, I hear that lead singer guy did pretty good for himself. Yeah, he did okay. You know, I, I, part of having success is, you know, staying in the game. Yeah. Even though at times selling cars out of your driveway to, to make ends meet, you know, you have to kind of stay in the game. And I've been lucky enough to get a phone call 
to uh, write a song that was in a movie called Dirty Dancing. So that, that kind of changed my life. Frankie Previtt has a new box set and sells his versions of Dirty Dancing demos with proceeds going to the Pancreatic Cancer Action Network in the name of his old friend Patrick Swayze, who passed away from the disease in September 2009. He was only 57. His latest project is a show called Calling All Divas, which follows four very different singers searching for stardom. I'm John Bowden. Make sure you share our video, subscribe to our channel, and comment on them as well. This is Rock History Music. Mm -hmm.